five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name is Linda Wilson, and I'm going to teach you how to teach a child to read in, um, and for under $10. And that's how to teach your child to read for under $10 by Linda Wilson. Uh, I am a soon to be retired kindergarten teacher and I'm going to show you how to teach a child from ages two years, nine months to ages seven to, uh, to read. Uh, first of all, at the beginning of the school year, we share our certifications, so I'll share you some of my background. I'm a member of uh, Phi Theta Kappa, which is an honor society, and also Alpha Psi Omega, which was a national drama fraternity. I'm also Montessori certified, and uh, each year my, cl my class did uh, uh, public service, and this is a public service award. We got one year for uh, helping to save the seals. And I'm also certified in public school uh, in, in uh, primary at K through three and, and gifted and ESOL. And this is uh, more of my Montessori certification. And this is the master's degree from Ashland University in Ashland, Ohio. And my undergraduate degree was from Anderson College in Anderson, Indiana. Okay, at, after we share certification uh, with new parents and children, uh, we show them the school supplies they're going to need. And the school supplies you're going to need for reading are just $10, and I'm under $10, and I'm really thrilled with that. Uh, we're going to go over those first. You're going to need some foam ABCs. If you can't find the foam ABCs, I want you to get the magnetic ones. You can get those for a dollar all the time at Walmart. These foam ABCs you can find at the dollar store. And you need one, two sets of lowercase ABCs and one set of uppercase ABCs. The reason you need two sets of the lowercase are so you can spell uh, short words with uh, double vowels and you need the uppercase so that you can spell form, uh, formal words names. Okay, the other thing you're going to need is a mystery bag and that's a Montessori thing. I found this mystery bag at the dollar store for a dollar. So you'll need one of those. If you don't want to buy one and get one that big, you can make one. And this is one I made in about 30 minutes from a, a uh, hand towel. All I did was buy a hand towel, turn over the edges, sew those down in a running stitch, put a uh, shoestring for the tie, and it's a great mystery bag. We'll be using that. In my classroom, I would start the year off giving every child a mystery bag in the classroom and one for home. And that was the start of our school year. Okay. You'll also need a printing book because you're going to, your, your student is going to learn how to print, write, and read. I found School Zone at the dollar store for a dollar. I found this one at Target for a dollar. So easy, easy to get. And the final thing that you're going to need is a chalkboard. I found this at Target for three dollars. I love this because you're going to write freely here and then we're going to talk about the names of the lines uh, below. Uh, if you can't find a chalkboard, and this came with chalk, if you can't find a chalkboard, use a dry erase board. Now remember, for a young child, two years, nine months, 
up to four. Using dry erase, you're going to have to be careful with them. You can get a dry erase eraser for just a dollar at the dollar store. The board is a dollar. The dry erase pens are a dollar. But a chalkboard is just so much better. And, and you can use either one, whatever your child prefers. And I'll be doing the lessons with the chalkboard. And on the, on the dry erase board, uh, having paper towel around is very handy because uh, you can erase it extremely, even though the eraser works, you can erase it extremely clean with hand sanitizer. So having, a, and remember you have to control the hand sanitizer too. Keep that away from the young child. And that's it. This is your reading supply list. So we're going to play all of our games with this reading supply list. And you're going to be amazed at what you can do with so little. Okay, fine. Uh, next, you're going to need a school supply list for your child. And you're going to have to only spend about five dollars for the things that your child will need too and we're going to go over that now you're going to need a supply box this is about a dollar i found these abc flash cards for uh, 33 cents they were in a set of three things uh, the crayons were 50 cents the elmer's glue was 50 cents the glue stick was 33 cents. The large eraser was a quarter. And the blunt scissors were a dollar. Uh, make sure that you have blunt scissors. You don't want to have any scissors that have a point on them. And we're going to teach the child how to hold our scissors like this. Wrapped around our hand. And so that there's never a danger. And you will need a fat pencil and uh, you should get two for a dollar easily and the fat pencil is going to last you forever you will need in your supply list the the adult will need an uh, a pencil sharpener that a fat pencil will fit in and that's about 50 cents so here's this child supply list And this is your adult supply list. You are going to need some plain paper. We are going to do so many wonderful things with just plain paper. You will need construction paper. Again, a dollar each for those. One thing I didn't put on the supply list uh, for the adults was a stapler. You will need a stapler. So if you don't have one, you'll have to get one. You'll need some plain index cards. We're going to play a lot of games with these cards. A ruler so you can draw straight lines. And I like the uh, uh, clear one because you can see through uh, what you're doing on the other side. A pen. Uh, a fat marker. This is a dry erase marker. It'll be fine. A pair of adult scissors and a pencil. And that's it. That's all you'll need. So for your, for your how to teach your uh, child to read school supply list, that comes to $9. Your student supply list comes to $5. Uh, your adult supply list comes to five dollars uh, and that comes to under twenty dollars I asked my daughter-in-law how much uh, one of our grand uh, child's uh, school supplies were and she said twenty five dollars so if you throw in a stapler that'll come to twenty five dollars and she said what the school does is they buy the school supplies so everybody has the same thing where well, you will have everything you need plus your reading materials for under $25 the games we are going to be playing are knock knock I spy 
We're gonna, I'm going to teach you how to read, sing the ABC song with ABC letter sounds rather than saying the name. We're going to sing, learn how, all the letter sounds to the tune of Hi-O the Dario. We're going to play with our mystery bag with sounds and toys, and we're going to do lots and lots of matching games. You will also need to go online and get a copy of the Dolch Preprimer Sight Vocabulary. Dolch Preprimer Sight Vocabulary. Just type that in, it will pop right up, and you will get this Dolch Preprimer Sight Vocabulary list. That's, these are the words we're going to teach for the first 16 lessons. The second 16 lessons are going to be the Dolch Primer uh, Sight Vocabulary. And that is online free for anybody that wants it to. Uh, but we're only going to worry about the Dolch Preprimer uh, uh, words for the first 16 lessons. This really is lesson zero. This is an introduction that, that all children should have the right to learn how to read from ages two years, nine months to age seven. Those are the sensitive uh, years for speech and language. And we will learn the names and sounds of our 26 letters. In the first 16 lessons, we will learn the consonant letters and sounds, the five short vowels, and the Dolch preprimer words. And we will be reading short vowel words and blending and also writing. In the second 16 lessons, we'll start reading liter That's Just think of that. That's 16 lessons. That's only in four months if you do one lesson a week. It's up to you how quickly you do them. In the second 16 lessons, your child is ready to read real books that you can check out at the library. And we're going to start off with the biscuit books. And in conclusion, most of the children that I teach how to read and in the 20 years that I've been a public school teacher, uh, easily read beyond uh, the first grade level and usually up to the second grade level um, by the end of the year. Uh, so it's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting, and I can't wait for our first lesson. Thanks so much.